here's a uh, scroll compressor I'm gonna cut open. It's grounded, so it's 460 volts, three phase, five ton. It came out of a computer room unit, uh, so it's 2006. So it's ran every day since then, and it developed by vibration. This is the uh, top of the compressor. So there's the uh, relief valve, pressure relief valve, and your uh, discharge going out the center. They kick it out the side over here. Here's the uh, inside of the scroll. Look out messy this thing is. It's a, it's a, um, it's a ground, grounded out uh, compressor so I accidentally <laughs> tipped it but this is the oil. See how clean the oil looks? Doesn't look, look that dirty but look inside that scroll. little plastic piece here this is probably for the oil return it's funny how that thing st stays embedded in there with a couple oil rings I just dropped it uh, so I'm gonna take that off and see what see what it looks like the top is off here's the uh, I don't know if you can see it but uh, it has a screw terminals then they make the flag terminals but inside the scroll on the other side Here's a terminal block. Show you. Comes right off. Hope you saw that. Get my hand out of the way. Okay, this is the plug. This is how they designed them. So it's a plug on the inside, just like the new ones have the plug on the outside. They've been using this plug for years. So, you know, they mount the motor, and they just plug it on to the terminals inside there. I'll cut that and bring it out and show you. But, and this is the shaft on the motor. Actually, it still turns pretty good. No, it doesn't. I lied. Okay, and then uh, how the sides are embossed as four little divots. That's holding this ring in. They just press it in to hold hold this whole piece in here. The motor's a mess down below, but and then here's the scrolls. There's the one that that's the one that orbits. It's a mess. It's a mess. But it's a Saturday, so what the hell? Who cares? Here's more. One more look at the uh, pins on the inside. So the pins on the inside look like the outside now. And then uh, this is the plug. This one's made out of plastic too. Plastic plug on the inside. Makes you wonder how many times these burn off and cause a grounded compressor or burn off terminal, no continuity. Yeah, my video, I really forgot to show you the squirrels, but um, this is the one that's that uh, rotates off the shaft so I mean this this thing's seen a lot of hours and there's hardly any signs of wear on this scroll at all or rubbing I mean it looks like it's brand new this is the, the inside one 
don't know if you can see it, but it looks like it's brand new. There's a plug again. I mean, you can see where this has been rotating. These are the machine marks from when this this piece was machined. And, you know, there's, there's no... No ridges or anything on it. Same with here, you can see the machine swirl marks on it and it's it's perfect. So they can take a beating. You're looking at the bottom of the compressor. So I'll take off the top. There's your center support. There's a uh, two welds here, two on the other side for the center support take that off you get this piece here you got two allens on the bottom to hold hold the piece on to the center support you got a little washer in the bottom hold on held on by a, uh, a uh, stamp ring this is your uh, shaft and then I guess these are for the oil this shafts hollow all the way all the way through and then your this uh, this has uh, this made out of plastic it has something to do with the oil. There's a hole inside the, the shaft where this thing gets oil. Probably feeds it down inside the bearings. I'm not going to pretend to know how this thing works because I don't want to get any nasty comments. So I'll just show it to you. And then uh, I'll take the shaft out for you. One shaft coming up. Uh, here's the plastic piece. There's a hole in the side, so I guess the oil comes down and feeds feeds it inside of here and goes down the bottom. This this little indentation here might be for oil too. Um, I guess we got metal metal shavings in here too, so it's probably for me grinding on it. So who knows? Uh, that's the bottom of the compressor so it actually goes to comes apart real easy when you have a grinder